Anybody who finances terrorists and knowingly does so is guilty of offence. So if you give money knowing that they are terrorists, you can be charged and locked up under that offence. But I don't pay council tax and I've not done for a number of years. I, I cite that and they do not have an argument against it. How many times have you been to court? Tell me how she gets it or she It's not a court. Right. They, they, they will find against you every time because it's, it's a fake court. They just hire the building, they stick council officials in, uh, you know, it's not a real court. So whether you go or not, they're going to find against you. Uh, they'll, uh, they'll issue a liability order, it's a fake liability order. And the civil procedure rules in this country, for a liability order to be valid, they've got to send you a copy. They never do. So it's not a valid liability order. Right? The courts don't retain a copy either. No. The courts know nothing about it. Right? It's a council thing, it's, it's a fake system. The council do not have the authority to issue summonses, the council do not have the authority to uh, uh, create their own liability orders. Like, you know, it's an entirely fake system. To stand here though and hear that, it's, it's hard to believe that. I don't believe you, but I know. I, I mean, yeah. I'm not what I, what I say is, that don't believe me. When you get your summons, take it to a solicitor and say, is this a valid summons? And they'll say no. Uh, and then when they say the issue of liability order, take the document. Take, is this a liability order? Any any qualified solicitor will tell you, no, it's not. It's fake. Uh, once you start hearing the word fake, you think, what are they up to? Uh, it's a fake system they're running. Uh, it's just to con you out of money, uh, to keep you poor, to stop you wondering like what they're up to, like an iPad spending all that money that you're coughing out. Uh, it's just rich people saying, pay this, pay that. Bed bedroom tax. And like, they're just thinking of ways to keep you know, take money off you. And it's not about money. money is not worth anything. Like, it's about you running around for that money, to keeping you busy and occupied so you're not objecting to what they're up to. It's abolishing your constitution, because there is the constitution of the country spread between several documents, so we have got a constitution. Otherwise, the simple question being is, what was it the Americans refused to adopt and form their own based on? our constitution, the Canadian constitution, that's actually a physical constitution like America that's based on English history, English traditions and our constitution. So if we haven't got a constitution, what is it these other countries have adopted? So quite simply, we need to research Charter of Liberties, Magna Carta, Habeas Corpus Ritz, um, you've got the Petitioner Right, Declarations of Right, the Declaration of Arbroath that stipulates every Englishman that should actually have five acres of land. Now it does take time and it does take a lot of experience because some of these documents are around two, two to two and a half thousand pages long. So you do have to do quite a bit of reading and as a dyslexic person, I'm sure you'll all appreciate, I've actually took that task on and read those documents for what the fundamental rights are. Um, and some of them are, is Article 40 of the Magna Carta stipulates that you, uh, that you cannot sell rightful justice. So by the courts actually selling you the application forms to apply for an appeal, to an apply for anything, a court order regarding children or anything, by them charging you this amount, there is actually something that they don't tell you, which is called a remission fee. Now if you can't afford it, you can apply for a remission fee. But that's how they're trying to get around it. At the end of the day, your your actual um, your constitution stipulates quite clearly that you cannot sell rightful justice. And if you read the Magna Carta for what it actually is, as a constitutional document, 1215, written by the people, it was forced upon a monarch who couldn't read or write. So basically he had his asses, his, his bishops, his legal team, read that document and say, you are going to have a civil riot in this country if you do not put your authority on it. So he sealed it with a corporate seal. So it's a sealed document. And this is the fraud that's going on within our courts. Because if you read the Crown Prosecution Rules, it stipulates that a seal, it has to be a sealed document. So if you look at a seal, which is what a public notary does, he puts his wax down, he gets his embossment, and he puts an embossment on it. So it's raised through each individual piece of paper. Okay? So what you then got to look at is, that is a seal. So when you get your corporate warrants and everything else, if you look at the rubber stamp upon this document, and I promise you it will only have a rubber stamp, 
and then ask yourself, does this comply with the Crown Prosecution rules? Quite simply, I'm not going to explain which bits, you can read it yourself and discover it yourself, okay? But if you read that as a document, you'll realise that it has to be sealed by the court. And a seal is legally defined as having a raised section and being embossed, just like your old MOT. Did anyone ever know of the MOT for a car? They all were sealed by the individual approved uh, garage for MOT. So I'm not telling the truth. I'm not saying anything. I'm saying I'm a young lad who wants to know how I'm bullied and dictated to. So I started researching. And the first off I looked at, go and look at common law. Google King Alfred the Great, Google King Molumus. Find out about these individuals and then find out how these were the lawgivers to England. You're looking at Anglo-Saxon times when the Vikings were trying to take over this. These are the lawgivers to England and our constitution, our history is quite simply yeah, written upon these people and reaffirmed by monarch, by monarch, by monarch. So, Mrs. Windsor herself, we people put it to you quite clearly, yeah, we're not happy with the way that this country is running. You're the only person that can step in and disband Parliament. We suggest to people you do it.